guys. It happened. It actually did happen. So obviously today is Monday, February 8th. Yesterday was was Sunday, February 7th, better known as Super Bowl Sunday. Buccaneers page Buccaneers pages. Buccaneers Chiefs. And Buccaneers won. Buccaneers won their second Super Bowl in franchise history. Their first coming back in like 2002 or something like that with John Gruden. But they won their second Super Bowl in their franchise. And if you've been living under a rock for the past year or so, 18 months maybe, and especially if you've been living under a rock for the past month on the channel here, you will know who the quarterback of Tampa Bay is. The quarterback of Tampa Bay is one Thomas Brady. Now, I know what I said in the very first video that I put up about Tom Brady going to the Super Bowl. It's got, I think now at this point, it's got like over 2,000 views on it. And all the views are negative. Like, 98% of the views on that video and the comments on that video are negative which i i understand i knew going into making that video which is mainly the reason why i made it i knew it would get a lot of attention i knew it would get a lot of clicks because it's a patriots fan it's it's a patriots fan Reacting to a former Patriot, the greatest Patriot of all time, having success with another team. So I, I knew going into that video that it would have some negative, some negative energy around it, some negative comments, some negative feedback. What I didn't realize was that it would have such negative feedback to it. Basically every comment on that video is telling me that i'm a horrible person that i'm a that i'm a pathetic excuse for a human being is what one person wrote i'm not going to i'm not going to share any of the comments i'm not going to expose anyone's name i'm not that kind of person but uh one person called me a pathetic excuse for a human being for not rooting for tom brady after giving after him giving us 20 years and 10 Super Bowl appearances, 9 Super Bowl appearances. One person said that I should be ashamed that I am selfish and and arrogant as a Patriots fan and I don't care about the 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 person, I care about the team. Which we can get that's a whole different conversation. But the main reason I bring up this uh past video in this video having the benefit of hindsight is i made that video not only because it was i knew it was going to do decently on views on the channel but i made that video because i wanted to see the reaction of the community i wanted to see how people would react if me as a patriots fan would say that i didn't want to see tom brady win now, I'm not going to say that you have to believe me, because I guarantee you that 99, 100% of you people that watch me aren't going to believe me. There may be a, a few people out there that, that trust me or, or believe me, but I, I am going to say it, even though I guarantee you that you won't believe me, I basically did that just to see the reaction of the community. I didn't actually believe the words that I was saying about not wanting Tom Brady to succeed that I was, I mean, I am a little bit upset that he left, but I mean, I don't, I don't care. I want him to do good. I, I, I don't want him to, I don't want him to lose. I want to see him be happy. I want to see him win as many Super Bowls as he wants. I don't, I don't care what happens 
outside of New England. I'm not that kind of person. I just, I want to see Tom Brady and whoever, it doesn't matter if it's Tom Brady or if it's Stephon Gilmore, if he ends up leaving, or if it's, it's anybody, literally anybody on the Patriots or Bill Belichick. If Bill Belichick happens to leave the Patriots, go coach another team and then take him to the Super Bowl, I would be happy for Bill Belichick and I would want him to win. I, the same for Tom Brady. I am happy that Tom Brady won a Super Bowl with Tampa Bay. Honestly, truly, I am. I am not making this up. I am not lying one bit. I am honestly, truly happy that Tom Brady won the Super Bowl with Tampa Bay. I'm glad that he got number seven. It's immense, even though there, there probably wasn't a reason to cement it anymore. But even if some random person needed to have it cemented even further, that Tom Brady is the greatest player of all time, that's what GOAT means. The greatest player of all, the greatest of all time, GOAT. Tom Brady is that. He is the greatest football player. Of all time, not just quarterback, Tom Brady is the greatest player of all time. That includes every position, head coach. He is the greatest football mind of our generation. And I'm, I know that's bold saying that he's, he's better than some head coaches and stuff. But think about the, the it's just facts. Tom Brady has been to more Super Bowls than franchises have been. He has won more Super Bowls than some franchises have been. Tom Brady, it's undeniable. And if you are denying it, you either don't believe it yourself and you're just lying to yourself, or you just hate him so much that you can't get to that conclusion. That's the only, there's only two options for why you would not think that Tom Brady is the best quarterback and the best football player of all time. There's no other explanation. It's not that Patrick Mahomes is better. It's not that Aaron Rodgers, not Joe Montana, not Steve Young, not John Elway, not Peyton Manning, not Drew Brees, not anybody. Nobody is better than Tom Brady. He did it for 20 years in New England. The top-tier excellency that he had in New England. Then he goes all the way over to Tampa. One year. They go from a 7-9 football team with Jameis Winston throwing 30 interceptions to Super Bowl champions. And that's because of one man. Yes, they brought in Antonio Brown and Rob Gronkowski and and, uh, who else? They bring Leonard Fournette. But if they would have, you put those guys on that team with literally any any other quarterback yeah they may make the playoffs yeah they may make it to the super bowl they're not beating kansas city they're not beating kansas city without tom brady because tom brady is a different breed he is a different level of human than most people it's rarefied air it's michael jordan it's tiger woods it's serena williams it's tom brady four there's four Maybe Michael Phelps, if you want to get the Olympics in there. And that's your five. Those are the five, in my opinion, and pretty much everybody else's opinion. Those are the five greatest sports athletes to ever walk this earth. Nobody cares about Babe Ruth. Because Babe Ruth did it in a time when black athletes were not even allowed to be in the same league. So Babe Ruth doesn't even fall into this conversation. Nobody cares about, I mean, yes, we care about LeBron James. The LeBron James and Michael Jordan are a different breed, okay? That's a whole different conversation. I don't want to even get into that. But what I'm talking about, I need, I'm getting off on a tangent. Tom Brady is the best. There's the best. And then there's Tom Brady. What else do you want me to say? So, basically to wrap this up, I just want to reiterate that I I am sorry for if if the things that I said in that very first video of me reacting to Tom Brady in the Super Bowl, uh, going to the Super Bowl, came off as selfish and and arrogant and and I, I came off as a horrible person. I wasn't intending on trying to be like that, but I I kind of was on the same spectrum because I wanted to see 
how people would react. I didn't. I wanted to, to gauge whether people would be on the side of not wanting Tom Brady to win, or if they would be on the side, which they turn out to be, on the side of who cares? Let Tom Brady be what he wants. He gave you all the success, and now he wants to go on his own. It's Bill Belichick's problem. It's it's all that kind of stuff. So they are on that side, and that's perfectly fine. I am on that side too. I want to be on the side. I am on the side of wanting Tom Brady to be good. He gave us all these years of success, and now we are grateful that he's he's gone. Well, not grateful that he's gone, but grateful that he gave us all these years, and now he just happens to move on. He wanted to try new things. So that is that's the 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 line that I've that I've uh, walked on. That that is the side that I've crossed. I am I am firmly on that side, and I've always been on that side, even if it seemed like at some points. I was on the opposite side of not wanting Tom Brady to win. I I basically did that that video as an experiment to see the reactions of the community and it turns out the community hates me. <laughs> the community was not on my side. That is for sure. And so I mean, I didn't take any of that stuff personal. I I I don't know if you guys intended it to hurt my feelings or anything, which is is fine. I mean, you guys have every right to write whatever comments you want that's why i don't delete any comments that's why i didn't take the video down uh you guys have whatever right you have to write whatever comments you want on any video of mine or any video of anybody else's i mean don't go you, i mean you can't go crazy you can't write anything like offensive or or hurtful like you can't no death threat no nothing like that, that that's crossing that's a different line but I mean, if you want to say that I'm a pathetic excuse for a human being, go ahead. You can say it, which is probably true. But I, that's why I didn't delete any comments, didn't ban anybody, didn't do anything like that. Because I want you guys to speak your mind. I want you to tell me how you feel. Because I'm gonna tell you how I feel. That's this given. That's the the relationship. I give, you take. You take, I give. Right. You give, I take. It's 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 a love hate relationship, and I mostly love you guys. <laughs> And it's it's a balance. That's how we keep it going. So, I mean, it's, it's open conversation. You guys can tell me whatever you want. You can tell me how you feel about me. You can tell me I look stupid. You can tell me that I have a horrible haircut. You can tell me that I, I'm an idiot or that I'm ugly or anything. Or you can tell me that I uh, shouldn't be alive. I, well, you can't tell me that because that, that would be crossing the line. But... If you want to call me a pathetic excuse for a human being, that's perfectly fine. It's all up to you um, if that's how you how you feel about me because watching that video. But I just want to I just want to emphasize the fact that it was just an experiment video to see how the community would react. Would react. Um, I did put out that other video saying I'm sorry because I didn't want to come off as this arrogant guy that is just about the team, about the Patriots, and and about winning and and not caring about the actual people behind the team and so that's why i put out that video and that video has done decently well not as great as the other video um which is also a little bit of an science experiment so depending on how this video does i guess that'll be the third part of this experiment but this should be the final um reacting to tom brady until um well reacting to anything patriots related probably to the draft because I probably won't do, maybe I'll do free agency if they sign a big free agent or if they let Stefan Gilmore go or um, if they let, if they sign any big free agents or something like that or something crazy happens like Bill Belichick retires or something. I'll do a reaction on that obviously and then I'll definitely do a reaction covering, uh, maybe I'll do like a pre-draft of who I think they'll take and uh, maybe like a whole draft encompassing video of who I think will go number one where I think Justin Fields will go or, or stuff like that and maybe around the league stuff and then I'll, I'll but it'll mainly be about like the Patriots and then uh and then I'll do obviously like a reaction to how it actually went but yeah I, that's that's what this video is I I'm happy for Tom Brady to win a surple, Super Bowl I really am I am so unbelievably happy that he won his seventh Super Bowl it just Firmly cements that he's the greatest of all time, no matter the position, no matter the situation. He is the greatest of all time. Period. It's dot. Write it in ink. It is done. Write it in stone. That's how. That's how firm it is. That's how concrete it is that he is the greatest of all time. So, once again, I am sorry if you guys took offense to that video about me not 
wanting him to win a Super Bowl and me rooting for the Chiefs. I would never, ever root for the Chiefs. I despise the Chiefs. I don't despise the people. I despise the team. I don't want any harm to come on any of the people. I don't want Patrick Mahomes to break his leg or anything. I just personally don't want the Chiefs to win because I don't like the Chiefs. They're, they are direct competition to the Patriots. Maybe not this year, but they, they have been direct competition to the Patriots in the future. So until that ceases to exist, I will hate the Chiefs. It's just how sports goes. But once again, I am happy that Tom Brady win. I truly, I truly am happy that Tom Brady won another Super Bowl. I hope you guys uh, find it respectable, <laughs> I guess. Or if you don't, that's fine too. You can come at me with your comments and, and say that too. That's fine. Um, but yeah, that's, that's going to do it for this video. Um, I don't really have anything else to say. I think I said it all. Uh, probably enough of the, of the serious conversations for a little bit uh we'll be back to the the goofy kind of <laughs> random videos that i usually put out but yeah that's gonna that's gonna do it for this one uh congratulations tom brady once again congratulations to the tampa bay buccaneers you did it you won a super bowl defying all the odds defying all the critics saying that you weren't gonna do it uh saying that that patrick mahomes basically crowning him the the, the next greatest of all time before he even had won a second super bowl so Congratulations to you, congratulations to Tom Brady, and that's going to do it for me. See ya!